This is to show how to laminate the side blades of Prototype 3 for the washing machine Electrolux Small. So, you have your external panel, which is this one here. This is where you have the CCV in the middle and the chamfer cut on top. This is an internal panel, which will sit underneath the panel you see on the right. This is your general layout of how the side blade is produced. So, what we need to do first is flip these over. So flip one, flip the other. Then swap its sides. So now we're looking at the opposite side. Now what we need to do is position this on top of this sheet in the right space. Now what we were gonna, what we need to do is create 100 mil strip along the side and a 28 mil strip along the top. So I'll just stop and I'll mark that out. Okay, so what I've done now is I've marked uh, 20 millimeters from the top, a line, and 100 millimeters from the left side going down. As you can see, like that. So what we would like to do is place the internal panel along the edge of that 100 mil line and along the top edge of the 28 mil line. So I've now moved the board towards its side and what we need to do now is laminate the two pieces together. So we need to use an adhesive made for MDF and we want to saturate the area with enough glue and most importantly the corners and the edges so nothing can lift up. Now we'll grab this panel and carefully slide it into position and you can see it's floating because the glue is is keeping it afloat so make sure you give it a bit of a wiggle around so the glue can spread and then what you want to do is line it up with your marks like so your next step is to use a nail gun to mechanically fix these two pieces together so I'm using a C bratting gun and 25 millimeter brads these are small nails quite thin and I'll just slop that in and nail it together so before nailing, make sure that your piece of, two pieces of material are lined up with the lines that you have marked earlier. And here it seems like it's the case. You can see there's a bit of spilt glue, but you can clean that up afterwards. So, step one, throw three nails. Now here, you don't want to go to the edge since it's overlapping. So you can see here. So you want to bring the nail gun in around 150 mil. One, two, and then in again as you've got the chamfer behind. You can see the line which runs along here. So you want to do your nail further in and one more on the corner. And now your piece is together. Put some pressure on top such as 5 or 10 kilos and let it set for a number of hours. Once the glue is set, it's now time to paint your blade. Now first thing you need to do is use a poly filler, which is like a filler primer, something that is thick and will then fill the edges of MDF. If you use n normal primer, the MDF will never seal on the edge. As you can see, I've run a filler primer over the edges. So you can see it's quite thick. If it, uh, there we go. So you can see running along the edge, the MDF is soaking in this paint. So allow this to dry 
and then do a second coat. Once you've completed the second coat, you can then look at sanding it.